Hi there, my name is Kendrick and welcome to another ENFP male interview. Today I get to interview Melanie. So Melanie, welcome. Hey Kendrick, what's up? Hey, how's it going? So yeah. Melanie, you got officially typed. Can you tell us what your full type is? Yes, I am double feminine, T-I-N-E, consume play, blast sleep. So you are an INTP and right. you are the most extroverted INTP version. Uh, yeah. I'll buy that for sure. How did you feel when you got your results back? Um, I was definitely like a little, <laughs> a little taken aback because I always, I had a YouTube channel and I would always just kind of talk crap about um, t like Effie especially, but then TI, I was just, I was so separated from the idea of what I thought TI was. Like, I was like, no way. I'm just really passionate and full of feeling. So I was really surprised that I was on the TIFE axis. Um, but then when I like let it sink in, I was like, oh yeah, these are what your tidal waves are. Like just the not wanting to be moved by the tribe, my very forceful opinions. Um, so after it sunk in for a while, I was, I was like, this, this is the, the part of myself that I thought I was hiding, but it really is me. So yeah. Did, did you think you were someone that was a savior feeler because you have double activated FE. Oh yes, yes, yes. But it's funny because when I think about it, all the, like, I would feel things deeply. So if someone else started, starts crying, I start crying like all the time. And that, so it would just sort of be like this, like wonky, like my feeling, my moods or whatever would change based on what's happening around me. Um, and I do acting stuff and in acting classes, it would be really hard to get to a place where either this character has to be really angry or really sad. Like I felt like I would, I would die. And it's hard to explain other than that. Like I was like, I will not recover from feeling this way. So it's just always been this like really deep feeling, but it's really like, it makes so much sense that it's in a demon state because I, I was just like, I can't recover from these feelings. Like it's just, yeah. yeah. So I, I thought that was savior, but it's apparent to me now that that's just, it throws me off balance. I interviewed someone a while ago and she had extrovert feeling. And she said that when, you know, people cry, she ends up crying. And she said that she'll be crying, but she said it's not her feelings. It's someone else's feelings that she's right. crying for them. So do you feel like when you are with someone and that person is crying and you start crying, that's not your tears. It's like their tears that you're crying on their behalf or something. Like do you yeah, yeah, that's a really good way to put it. I I, I remember asking, like I would ask um Dave and Chan and be like, Can you tell me about empathy? Because I have this thing that keeps happening and I would be obsessed with empathy. Um, the the you know, the idea of it because it, that type of thing would always happen where someone else is crying for whatever reason and I just instantly can't keep it together and I'm crying I'm like this is so embarrassing I'm trying to be like supportive but I cannot hold it together um and I guess I never even thought about if I was feeling their feelings it's just instantly I was also just feeling that and especially if it's somebody that I care about or think is really nice and it's just sort of like oh I can't believe you're feeling sad or whatever so yeah, it's like my feelings, but it, yeah, not mine because five seconds ago I was fine, you know? Right. That That's so um, interesting. I, I think it is good though that, you know, you cry when someone else cries because then they, they feel like you understand them, at least their feelings. So I think it's... Yeah. It, maybe yeah. I've gotten away with, with coming off as a feeler or just like more like, sensitive or something than I sometimes am because of that. So thanks, demon feeling. Yeah, I would have never guessed you are an INTP. Like I think from from first glance. But um, let's let's talk about that because uh, I think there's something super interesting about you specifically. Um, Everybody you, is just like, no way, no way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, you know, because you're saver, save your NT, right? Uh, you're you're consume first, your NT, but you come across as very SF, which is a good thing, which is super good. Like that's okay. that's what you want. Yeah, um, so how do you can you can you talk about like being like that and like what what made you also go that direction because that's also like super cool you know it's very growth mindset yeah well i i feel like i've never specifically said to people who are just like but you're so sf i'm so confused like it's just like you forget that i've been studying acting for not you but 
some people forget that I've been, I mean, also they don't need to know, how would they know? But I've been studying film and TV acting. So being on camera for years and years and years. So of course I need to improve on, you know, the SF. So I have to like, you know, partially consider like how I physically appear, like appear on camera. It's just part of the business and I have to network and all these things that really comes it's like hard to do for me. I, I have an old video that's like how to network when you hate everyone. Um, it's really hard, but I, I can't just be like, well, I'm just not going to do it. Nah. Like I have a goal that's like, it encompasses my entire life. And it's like that. I don't know if that's the masculine TI, but it's like come hell or high water, whatever I need to do, I will get there. So you grow. Um, so to those people who don't think I'm an INTP, I assure you, I've just been practicing my SF. <laughs> I have to. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Like you'll do whatever it takes to to win that that oh, yeah. game, and 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 right. the, F, the SF is a tool to to win. So you you'll, you'll... yes, exactly. I love how you put that. I mean, I'm sounding like, but it's just I love how you just put that exactly. Right. It's a... Yeah, that's awesome. That's that's super cool. Um, you are ST last though, so um, your your sleep is ST. It's last. Um, how do you, what kind of problems have you had from having sleep last? Like, is it lack of energy or you, do you crash or do you have trouble doing things for yourself? Because that's, that's ST's doing stuff for yourself, right? So yeah. what aspect of that um, ST sleep do you have uh, trouble with? It's, it is really hard to reflect um, on my own thing. So like, I guess I'm trying to think of very specific examples, but like, you know, there's the anecdote that at sleep last people have health problems and it's not I'm like super grateful because I'm for the most part healthy and able to do what I want to do but like um I had somewhat of a health scare this year where I had to slow down like that's what it is it's like any aspect of slowing down um and like stopping to just like do something normal like have a routine um rest like I, it just, it, it, again, that's another thing that feels like dying to me. It's just like, I can't, I only have this one life. I have to do every single thing I want to do. Um, so it's just like, it's like being strapped down, like to have to stop. So especially when either like I'll work at three double shifts in a row, whether, whether in production or at the bar, which is like two jobs that I have, um, like I'll just be going and go. It's like, oh yeah, no problem. I can pick up this shift. I can pick up this shift. And then, you know, I have like a sore throat and like, I'm all of a sudden sick. So just like things like that, like, I'm just like, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. And then at the expense of my health. So that's the top of mind um, thing about sleep last. That's the thing, but it's so funny because I can't really necessarily reflect. It's hard for me to go in and be like, what else has happened to me because of sleep last, you know? So sleep blast or sleep in general has um, many dimensions. Um, yeah. But, but before I go to that, so you said you, okay. work, you work in a bar, are you a bartender? Yeah. Um, it's, it's one of my many, my many gigs. It's, I'm a very much a skib. So I like to keep my freedom as much as possible. So, so yeah. You, you are an actress, yes. uh, you are a bartender and you are a producer. Is that, is that what you said? Yep, I produce things. I also work in costume, wardrobe departments on sets. I work in the AD department, so I can be like an assistant director, a production coordinator, a costume, a wardrobe stylist. Um, it's like skim to the max. I like to try everything and see what that feels like or what that is, what it entails. Um, yeah. I think that's also you being a tester also. You want to experiment on every, every aspect of things. Would you say that's absolutely. right? I would say that's 100% absolutely right. All right, um, we're channel changing too quickly. Let's, let's go. Let's go back to because uh, we're both yeah, because we're both EP-ish. So um, let's let's go back to the part about the sleep dimensions. So you talk about the health care. Um, I interviewed someone before, and he said that SD sleep is having a body that works. So do, do you feel like there were some time in your life because you? we're not hitting the brakes that your body stopped working it just like stopped working and you need to like you know do good things for your body like eat healthy exercise get enough sleep to like get it working properly again would you say that has happened to you yes and no like i've never again like i'm i always am like super grateful because i've just experienced others who you know 
really have loss of their their body right but like um just like um like yeah just like either i just will go 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 kind of like i was saying or like the health scare that i'm dealing with now that i like take medication for it's kind of like the first major thing where i've had to be like this like for me it's like i don't have a body so now it's just this like reminder of like like you have to take care of this this vehicle that you've arrived in or else it will break down so i have to like take medication for something and remember to do the like the si of like eat healthy you need to exercise regularly like here are the reminders of why like you will not live forever <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like not the worst but i do have to take medication for something and be like hey you have a body so don't forget that like you're not just ideas and excitement you know yeah i i, I think i think with you guys with uh the sd sleep it's super interesting because that's your real identity right but it's like um your body essentially is mechanical it's like robotic and you are like repairing the parts and you know that's like when you go see like a specialist like a chiropractor or a physiotherapist that that's them like they're like a mechanic working on your body it's like a piece of machinery love the nt of you putting it together because it's like exactly what i meant to say you like are putting yeah um yeah it's like your body is a vehicle to carry out your your ti or whatever your ti my ti any plans or whatever ideas right and, and because you're doing so much with your like bartending producing acting your vehicle essentially has high mileage and uh right. you know the higher the mileage the more maintenance it requires right so maybe <laughs> yeah may maybe you kind of slacked off on the maintenance you know like just people who are delinquent right. when it comes to bringing the car in for an oil change you know for and maintenance so maybe that's kind yeah. of like what you're doing is like you're not bringing your your vehicle in your body for like an oil change which is like you know the repairs that you need to i that makes it seem so much like i love the way you just put that because that makes it seem less daunting to me like if i if i have that picture like oh you just gotta do some maintenance here on your vehicle like like bring it to the oil shop it makes it seem less daunting to do that si like no problem we just have to do a little maintenance and we'll be on our way right so, exactly <laughs> yeah think of it like that so it's not so like uh sleep energy boo <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you guys just gotta like schedule it in. Like for example, like um, okay, scheduling your physio appointments, scheduling your mas your RMT massage therapy appoint appointment. You know, yeah. just gotta stick it in your schedule because it's just part of the deal. You know, to like keep it going. You know, the, the engine running. You know, you'll, you'll yeah. probably act better too and do better at work because it's, everything's working right. So yeah, yeah. that's what. It finally, do the like okay. Well, you need to like work on your diet and all that. It's like. I remember the TI, like everything goes to the TI goal or, you know, I'm not even sure if it's the TI, but just like my true north of like, you're going to do this. You set out to be this identity in life and you're going to do it. Um, so it's just like to get here, you have to do the sleep. So it's like everything leads to the identity, which is, it's crazy as an IP, but it's just, it works to help me balance out at least and use my whole brain, you know? Right. Um, I'm kind of curious though. So you are an INTP, but you went the career route that most INTPs don't go towards. It's not like they don't exist. There are definitely INTP actors and actresses. Like I think Kevin Bacon was typed as an INTP. And uh, so what made you go decide that route instead of like the nerdy INTP route? Because that's super interesting that you ended up there. Like, was it something that you chose or was it something that the environment kind of kind of led you towards? Hey. Um, I just, since I was a kid, just was always like a weird little space. Like I, I liked my any worlds kind of more than I liked, um, like the real world type of thing. Like I was taken out of regular classes to go do like reading extra books in elementary school, starting from first grade, I believe maybe kindergarten. Um, and like, I would just read and read. It was sort of more like it started as like a language arts type of like, reading and then writing about it and like writing stories. So I would always just kind of live in this any like world of like, that's like this, this could be this, this could be this. Like I was just so um, like creating different worlds and that ha and that just, I don't know, like living in that reality of this could be this, this could be this was, was what I wanted to do. So I, I don't know if it was just sort of like chasing the any of what could be what 
but it seems like it I was just always like a weird little space cadet I liked fantasy I liked um pretending and all that so it just kind of stuck and it just stayed and I was like I'm gonna do this forever that's it is, is that your um masculine NE in action there like you know I think so I think so somebody was was talking about it being a mind palace I'm not sure if it was like on the on in the class or a co comments in the Facebook group but like masculine and E, yeah, it's just like this, like, I used to have this, <laughs> I'm gonna draw you into the any, the masculine any, this like reoccurring dream of like this weird playground with like these big fantasy creatures. And I was like, that's where I wanna go. And it really is, it's like this like ideal in your mind or something, it's hard to explain, but when so whoever said mind palace, I was like, yes. And you're almost like, no, I live there. I live in this mind palace. Like, and it's hard to explain to others, but yeah. It's like I'm beholden to my masculine and the NE always. <laughs> uh, you said that um, when you were young, you, you were kind of introduced to all these books and like fantasy world and that oh, yeah. you kind of jump into it. Um, and it seems like you jumped into it like readily, happily. Um, is it because you have that double masculine and he consumed? Like you just wanted to learn everything and like- Ooh, I didn't even think about it that yet, that way, but yeah, I think so. And- yeah. um, because your first animal consume is double masculine, that's the kind of like the animal that you put first into the world. I know you're double activated with the FE, which kind of con confuses people, um, but the double activated and T consume, not double, yeah, double masculine, sorry. Because it's double masculine, the, there, is there like a time where you come across as aggressive because like right now I'm talking to you and you don't seem aggressive at all. Like you are like very friendly and bubbly, but like, but that's not your first animal though. Your first animal is double masculine. So like, where, where does that like super aggression come, comes, comes out, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, there's cat energy for sure. I experienced it lately and I, uh, it's, I was like, Oh, there it is. I hadn't seen this like rare for a little while, but it's like, we, yeah, it's funny because I'm feminine with the tribe, you know, just like, Hey, like you could be this, you could be, you're my friend and you're this, like the NE always going, NE -E. Um, And then it's like, um, I forgot the exact question I was answering, but sorry, I just skipped out. But um, wait, wait, will you remind me how, how you worded the question again? I sure, just... yeah, it's, it's fine. Uh, no, I, I was just asking if like, where does your double masculine anti-consume right. come out? Like, is it right. when you're by yourself or it, it's are you- like, no, it's it's with the, it's it's out in the real world, and it's I think it's when when things are so it's either like recently it's come out when someone there there was a tribe issue. It's kind of like I in my perspective, someone was being rude to the tribe repeatedly, um, and you know this is just my perspective as one human, and I just was like enough, and I just sort of was pointing out patterns of why, and it does come out like a like a cat with claws, um, but. Aside from that, like, you know, I live in New York and like, you know, I, in the, in the past, like I will, if something is really stupid to me. So like there's people in the subway and like, there's plenty of room in the train. It's, it's, it's um not happy hour. What's the thing? I work at a bar. So that's in my mind. Um, rush hour. Right. And there's people just standing like so far apart from each other when so many people need to get in and go where they they need to go. And um, no one will step in so people can get in. I'll like yell out into the middle of the train, just like move in. Like, what are you doing? Why are you afraid of these people next to you? You're not like, so I'll like, it'll come out like that. Um, so usually it's like when I see something that just like does not make sense, like I, I'm not sure if that is exactly like the w, double masculine consume, but it, like the any of just like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> like, d does that, is that like a, an example of the w, double masculine consume? I'm, I'm thinking that's when I get aggressive usually, but I don't know if it's tied to that. Is that? Well, I mean, the way, the way you worded it was kind of interesting, which I think, which feels like it ties into that. So it feels like when you're questioning someone, that's when it comes out. Cause you know, it's like consume, right? So you're trying to get an answer for someone. And when someone's being illogical and then it's stupid, and that's when you're like aggression comes out, right? Like, cause yeah, like- but it doesn't I, it doesn't come out, sorry to cut you off. It doesn't come out right away. It usually, because I do try to, like, I'm always open for it to be like, maybe I don't know in my limited experience what is actually happening. So it takes a while. It takes a while. 
And then if I repeatedly see this thing that's harming the environment or like to make, to make the world go, like, it's just like, stop. And it just comes out like a, like a, the cat energy. Um, which is why I think it has to do with double masculine, with the T-I-N-E double masculine. Cause it's just like, this needs to go. It goes, it goes, and then you're stopping it. So I have to be aggressive with it. I, I think it has to do with it. Uh, why don't we analyze your TI first and we can like loop back to your any because like right now there's like some confusing pieces here. Uh, so let's talk about your masculine TI. Um, this is the boss and this is like the, the one that is in charge. And your, so your masculine TI, uh, how do you experience that? Like, like what is your truths? Um, you know, like. I would say it's kind of just like, a, like, I guess, yeah. Like when I was a kid, I was like, I couldn't just be like into fantasy. I was literally, it made it like, I was taken out of class to read and read and read. And it usually often was like fantasy books. And there's others, but like, it's just like, I can't just read one um, like horror, we'll say horror book or whatever fantasy. I have to read every single one and know everything about it. Um, or in my filmmaking world, it's like, I need to know every single, um, what's it called, department of set and how it works. How does this whole entire picture come together to be the film you see on screen? So I, it's, I like immerse myself in the worlds of it. Like I go work in the departments. Um, let's see, like I, pursuing acting. I interned at the biggest talent agency in New York. Like I have to know how everything goes and like, if I am interested in a person, it could be creepy. I'm like looking up their shoe size, everything, just like can every, I need to know everything about the thing and like go inside of it to understand what it is. Does that make sense? Or is that, does that sound right? Well, I think you described consume again, not that, not that, oh, yeah, yeah. uh, not that, not that, like give me the info. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I'll give you some concrete examples. Um, so, Joe Biden, um, I think they typed him recently and he was talking about his identity. And I don't remember the, the exact list. So some of, the, some of these words I'm going to say to you are kind of paraphrasing or not yeah, yeah. sure. But, you know, like they asked him who he was and he said, like, I'm a father, husband, athlete, you know, like he, he gave a list of like who he is. And he said it with such like definitive confidence, yeah. you know, which was his PI, right? It's not the same as FI, but it's like, the ti version so for him those are his truths like he is those individuals that he mentioned um right so do you have anything like that like you know where you're like i am this i am this i am this you know not as as i don't i actually if i think about it it's not as solid as like my connection to others to me it's like my identity is what i am working towards so like and I guess this could be like the, the very low sleep because it's like, I am sure of like who I am or like what way that I do things. But if you're just like, who are you? It's like when someone asks me like, tell me about yourself. I'm like, oh, I have a self? Like, uh, I don't know. Um, it's like whatever I'm working on. Like, it's just like, I... I don't know. I, I, I work therefore I am, I guess. Like I figure out therefore I am. That's what it feels like to me. I think that's in my perspective of being inside of myself. That's at this time, the best answer I think I can give. I, I think I would have to ST sleep. Maybe it's because I'm not, I haven't processed, you know? Right. Yeah. Cause I, I'm like watching you like just talk about it and it's like definitely sleep last struggling to, to describe it. I, it, yeah. it's there because you're doing it automatically, but it, it's kind of like to, to kind of like narrow it down and say it into like quick, um, you concise. know, yeah. concise. Because uh, like, you know, you said that, oh, Joe Biden, you know, it's not how, like for you, it's not how you relate to other people. But he also said he's an athlete. So that has nothing to do with relating with other right. people, right? Yeah. That's just like him. Like it's just, yeah, I am an athlete, you know? Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking about like how you're leading your life and whatnot. And you're like, wearing a lot of hats, you know, being an actress, bartender, uh, producer and whatnot. So you, it, it's, it, it's, it's almost like you're trying different identities to see yeah. which one is like the, the one that fits best for you. 
Uh, yeah. And maybe you need to be like older, kind of like Joe Biden's age before you can like, you know, have that. Yeah, it's almost like I can, it's, it's kind of like a, like, well, I don't know. This is my thing that I'm doing. It's like to explain it to the tribe, like the tribe wariness for me is always there. So it's like, if I have to explain what's, you know, is in here to you, I, I will butcher it type of thing. Like, I'm trying to think, cause I like, it's hard to, yeah, it's maybe I would, I get like Joe Biden's funny. Like, I don't know if I would be, I don't, I wonder if it's because of being like in the public, well, I don't know. I, I now I'm trying to figure out why Joe, Joe Biden would say that, but it has nothing to do with me. Um, but yeah, but like you know, I am all these things. I'm an aunt. I'm an actress. I know that I don't believe in certain traditions. Like I, so it's like I, my principles are like, for example, like I like to stand outside of the norm to like. So this is sort of like in relation to the tribe to help others realize that you don't have to be a certain way in order to thrive so it's like kind of being like outside of the norm is important to me to show that people don't have to be one way to thrive i don't know it sounds like i'm trying to figure out <laughs> well, your, sleep process, to... your sleep flow is processing right now <laughs> yeah, you try to... I am. um so, yeah yeah i can't answer it. i can't answer it as concisely as as joe but but, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's in there somewhere. It's it literally is. It's like, I, I am someone who's always working, figuring out like how to do this thing. That's yeah. Like I work there for I am. <laughs> That's the best way. All right. It's, it's all good. We can, we can, we can loop back to this later. Uh, you know, once we have more date of uh, information to work with, uh, yeah. let's, let's go with your, the next, uh, your, your next part, your play second, that your second savior's play. Um, yeah. it's NF. So you have NF play. Uh, how do you experience NF play personally? L just literally everywhere. I think like, and that's, this is probably another reason why people are just like, you're not INTP. It's just like, I don't know. It's it's just like, it's just like you talking about the car. Um, like, you know, oh, maybe like, it's like, it's like you're a car, like um, maintaining a car. I'm just like, yeah. And then this, and like, we can just go back and forth and like create worlds. It's just like, um, everyone I see, I want them to all come together in a room and it'd be like, oh, I'm always figuring out how I can bring everybody in my life together and how it would work. Like, it's just kind of like a interacting with my environment and trying to bring everybody together type of thing. I feel like I'm so abstract, but does that make sense? Well, you know what, now, now that you mention it, it makes sense why you come across as very like hippie-ish like, because you yeah. do have double activated NF play. Yeah. Like th that is like the prominent one. Like the, con the, the anti-consume is definitely the first animal because you're always trying to figure things out. But the one that people can see and it's obvious play is usually what people see first because that's like right like right in your yeah. face right so right. it's it's nf so let me ask you a few questions when it comes to nf and then you can uh break down the parts and see if you can relate to it so okay. first because it's play um when it comes to the nf part of it it's purpose and meaning so do you feel like when you ping off other people that's kind of like what you're interested in when you're talking to like someone else like when you talk to someone else you're always trying to understand what they're working on uh what their passion is what their purpose is what their mission is like that's is that something that you try to like get yeah. off people? i'm super interested in like what makes individuals individual i like take pleasure in that like it's like really cool and then and then like ultimately how everybody connects to the picture the big picture at large so it's like yeah i like learning about people and like what they do and how they're different from me. And how, isn't that so crazy that we're all like so different? That's crazy. Um, but a lot of times it's like finding that is, yeah, to like find out what connects us all and like, oh, we're so different, but like, what's the, the, the factor that makes us like all connect or whatever. Like that's what's like for acting is so awesome to me it's like the most different people can be in the world but they like have some connection over whatever it is like that I'm so fascinated with that like I don't know if that's NT consume again but like because it feels like I'm like 
Yeah, yeah you, it, it, it feels like it. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely, good, you're always definitely missing that. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but yeah, I guess like, I don't, it's, I guess it's hard to answer the, the questions. Maybe it's cause I'm not like not sensory or I, I think it's this like, ultimately comes down to sleep last. Like, I'm just like, I don't yeah. know, I ended up here. What? <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. That sleep last thing is uh, tricky. I think you it's definitely need to like schedule some, uh, some maintenance time and, uh, All right. Fine. But no, seriously, now that you've put it that way, I'm like, oh my God, that makes it seem so much less daunting. Like, yeah. The, yeah. Bring, bring the old, uh, brain to the shop. Yeah. Yeah. Bring, yeah. Bring the brain to the shop. That's a good, that's, that's a good yeah. one. Um, I'm going to post it and put it up like, all right, maintenance hour. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not just repairing the body. I think you need to, um, do like mindful stuff too. Like, uh, right. like I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Meditation, yoga, like that kind of stuff. So you need to like, cause like, I think for you, you need to like outsource it kind of like, there's like a lot of people, um, they, they typed this, this girl in the class who was an ESTP and she was like sleep last and she goes to like meditation center. So she just outsourced the sleep and that's fine. You know, cause the whole, the important thing is you're doing it right. Who cares? Who cares how you do it? You know, as long as you, yeah, you know. I'm a big, I'm a huge therapy fan. Um, that's really helpful. Cause then, yeah, especially like all of a sudden you have these realizations and like, you know, it's some people think it's pointless or whatever of like, Oh, you're just talking about your problems. And like, I used to think that way. Cause it's kind of like shaking up the, the snow globe of your problems or whatever. I don't know if I, yeah, somebody said that and I was like, yeah, it's like that, but you're going over it. And then you're like, Oh yeah, I do do this. Like, and then, Oh, Oh, so it really is helpful to like, it takes a long time for me, but like to have it processed super helpful. So big therapy fan. I, I think the other way too to make it even faster is to make friends that are savior ST sleep, either first or second, because then you just watch what they're doing and just co yeah. like copy it until you get until you know how to do it that you can customize it to you, your own style. Um, because you know, like someone's already doing what you want to do, you know. So yeah. just I do always get really like every time I speak to a especially masculine sensor. I'm like, oh my God, like, it's just like the voice of reason. Like, it's just like, everything's like, oh, okay. I can come down to earth now. Like, yeah. So it, it probably would be like ST friends. I'm trying to think, you know, not everybody I know is typed obviously, but um, I have a lot of NF friends and I, I tend to get really um, like, like defiant when they're like, no, you need to know this. And I'm like, you don't know me, like rrr, masculine sensory. Um, but yeah, I think ST would probably good, be good a, a good influence on me. Yeah, not just ST, but ST sleep, like sleep, a, sleep, right, like like an ENTP that consumes sleep, ENTP or another INTP, you know, could sleep consume maybe um, something like that. <laughs> the the thought of it repels me. It's so funny how much I don't want to do sleep. But you're right. You are right. That's you're just, <laughs> hey, you're just taking it to the shop, right? It's it's. it's exactly i do yeah. like it's the it's the roughest part in the you know hero's journey as as we say in class like it's just that's definitely like the 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 like defiance i feel towards it is really challenging but yeah. you know towards it gotta bring to the shop oh i'm the same as you i have sleep loss too right so like yeah. I, I i bring my body to the shop too but like it's it's it's, it's different I, I i don't i'm not mechanical inside it's sf so like I, I, I go to like RMT, like, you know, twice a month, you know, so I, I do all the stuff. Yeah. What do you, what, what's oh, I, the, what's called you go to twice a month? Yeah, no, I go to see a massage therapist twice a month. Oh, uh, geez, that's awesome. Love yeah, that. Right. And then I see a physiotherapist. I see a um, chiropractor. Um, the moment there's like a little, something wrong with my body, I, I get, I, I call a doctor right away. So I'm just making sure that like I, I do it. I exercise. The, the eating healthy part is hard because I like to eat yummy food, but uh, yeah, it, right. it's, that's up and down. Um, Dave said I have 50% use of sleep. So I, I'm like, I'm. he said that the part of sleep that I'm not working really is not the emotional processing because he said I'm doing the emotional processing. He said, I'm not doing the SF part, which is your, which is what you're doing, right? So yeah, he, said, right. He, he actually told me to go all in the SF. He's like, he told me to go watch like a bunch of like SF videos where people are just acting like a bunch of like, I don't, I don't want to say idiots, but like, yeah, that's pretty much the, bad, the only way I can describe it is, a, you know, a bunch of like nonsense idiots like, right. with grunting and like doing dumb yeah, shit. Yeah. And he's like, go watch those videos, study them and then copy it, copy it at first until you get like the hang of it. And then you can, 
but right. doesn't it feel kind of like it feels like oh no like it's like a i can't like a resistance or does it feel like that towards you or like for you yeah i i mean i i think the part of me that resists it is like the the ideal side of me because like there, there was a time in my life i i did go all in the sf and i remember you know i was super fit at one point at nine percent body fat like and because I was work, re, hitting the gym really hard. Yeah. And like, but the, the, the truth was, I wasn't doing the exercises properly. Like there was some exercise I was doing wrong. Yet like a bunch of like bros would go up to me in the gym. It's like, hey man, can I add you to Facebook? Like, can you, can you like show, can you, can you show me how to like, you know, how to do this exercise, you know? Cause you, and I'm like, so people were giving me more respect when I look good than now when I'm actually a fitness professional and I have the knowledge to do it properly. Dude, it's because that because the, the, the appearance, the SF, is more important than, than the actual knowledge. But doesn't it kind of like for your NT brain, isn't it like it's almost like, oh, this is I, like it's like fuck this. Because you know that, like, you know, in the example you said, like, oh, I'm not even doing this right, like cor the correct way. Like, and this, like, it's just like I don't care. Like, this is ridiculous. For me, like as an NT, it's just like I don't even want any part of that. Like, so fake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so fake. Exactly. That's, that's, um, I, I think I don't, I didn't want to accept it. It, I, I knew it was real. I knew that was the truth that in life, um, oh, the, 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 the looks and what's cool comes first. And that, that is like the, like the, what do you call it? The gatekeeper. And yeah. if you, if you don't have that, then the gatekeeper won't open the door for you, you know, without having the SF. SF comes first before everything else, no matter what. It's like, there's like a specific order, right? It's like SF and then ST. So the S comes first. Yeah. And then and then the NT is probably the one that comes last, you know? Like, <laughs> like if, I, if I had to guess. Um, and it's so annoying because I feel like the NT like paves the way for all the others. Like, it's like we, at, at least in my, the way I see it, it's like we innovate, we, we pioneer. <laughs> That's like very broad, but it's just like, we create the things and the way to make the SF like then like leave us in the dust and it's so annoying but I fully understand because I need to wield it as a tool myself right well you, you're using it you have SF turd so it's 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 not last so you can you can use it and you understand it's a tool that is necessary so you are kicking ass in that in that realm Thanks. um you know so I'm just thinking about the the NF part now. I I think NF is last. Sorry, I don't think NT is last because I feel like NF is like what is the point? Like what are we trying to build here? Like that that answers the what, and then when, like the when then, you say last, what what are you referring to? Like in, like in SF is first and then ST. Yeah, like I'm just guessing though, but in in the order of like importance, of um, like valued importance, you think? Yeah, like like in like in life, you know, as a, like, as a, as a person, you know, like, cause like there's, why, why would you have a purpose if you can't even feed yourself? Right. So survival comes first, right. You know, like, yeah. yeah. And, and survival is what is that? That's SF and ST, right? Like SF is like, Oh, I see something yummy. They look so enticing. Let's go eat it. Cause it looks so good. Right. Like that's fair. I feel like ST would be first as far as like plain survival, but I don't know. I don't know. SF, to me, I, I think I see the animals in, sometimes it's like hard for me to get to the deep, like digest the meaning of them together. Um, and that could be feminine sensory or something because it's hard, it's like, wait, 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 in reality, let me try to think of what that could be. And it's always in the, the any that's just like, but it could be, could be, could be. And I'm like, but what is it? It's hard for me. But it would appear the ST would be first. But this is our hypothetical, like. Well, anyway. Well, it's it's. I think ST is second like because ST is like the how. Like, how do we do something? Mm. How mm. how how do we get that food? SF is the desire, right? It's like, oh my god, that food looks so good. Or if you're like in a dating scene, you're like, oh, that person looks so good. You know, like I, you know, or like. So it's like, or that person's attractive, you know? So it's like the animalistic yeah. instinct. We'll get this, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The animalistic instinct, desire that comes first, right? Because the moment that kicks in, you know, like, you know, we say we're really logical, but really we're all driven by feelings, right? And and, and desire. Um, so the SF is like the animal side of you. That's why, like, 
like I, I, I remember um, there was like an internet marketer. His name is uh, Frank Kern. He was showing like two different pictures of two different individuals. One person yeah. is like a professional, uh, a fitness professional. And the other one was Kim Kardashian. And, right. and he said, who do you think people are going to buy their fitness program from? That person that went to get a PhD and, you know, fitness science, whatever, like, right. you know, or, or this girl with like a big butt, you know, like they're going to pick the one with a big butt. They're not going to pick this guy, you know? But it's almost like, I, it's not, it's like, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. It's like, I'm not necessarily mad at it because I, well, it's, it's, I think it's specifically that you said Kardashian because a lot of people give her crap, but I'm like, she probably is the most ST. I mean, I know she's ESFP in, in objective personality, but like, um, it's so smart that she was like, what, what, this is what people value. So I'm going to do that. And like, I feel like there's something really smart in that. Maybe that's like my SF talking because I'm like, what, it's a tool. <laughs> like, this is how it works. So we use it. Well, uh, I'm not denying that she she is definitely a genius because uh, you know uh, the success that she's had she's had. So um, there's a lot of people that has her animal stack that you know really kills it in the real world. You know, like she has the same animal stack as Kobe Bryant, right? And Kobe Bryant yeah. is considered as to be one of the be greatest basketball player of all time. And so you know it's the consumed sleep. You know, um, e ESFPs like Brad Pitt is also that and. Angelina Jolie. So like there, there is, there's too much evidence to show that these people with this specific animal stack are going to succeed, you know? Um, and oh, maybe, yeah, because yeah, they have that SF and NF, right? So yeah, they, they, they have purpose. They have, they have both purpose and, and that animalistic draw right. to, to get people in. Right. So, you know, like, okay, so we'll do this. Right. Right. Or yeah, like, Right, right, right. I see what you're saying. And then they have the ST that, like, the yeah. how, to, the how to. Yeah. Right? But right. They, they wouldn't be able to explain to you how they did it because they don't have that NT. You know, they have NT last, right? So they're doing yeah, it like. like it yeah. So for us, we might be able to figure out how it works, but for yeah. you, because your ST last, like, how to how to do it might be like a challenge. That's why you need to work with other people to that has ST, like. That's now that you're saying that that's sort of reminding me yeah like i do i do often because i'm like well i am in my own world and the tribe values this so i do often like as when it comes to pushing my acting career forward i will like be like all right i i need i need help with marketing branding all these things because i don't i i can't so i will like you know go to the professionals who can see me in like an objective way so yeah, like how to do it, definitely, like you were saying before, I do outsource. <laughs> like, yeah, because I'm yeah. pretty sure if, if those people explain to you why they're doing what they're doing, you would get it in an instant. Right, we would be like, what do you mean? Of course, like. Yeah, but still doing it would be challenging, <laughs> you know, like. Right. Yeah, actually doing it, right, yeah. Right, well, since we're in this topic, talk about your feminine SI, which makes it even, even more challenging, right? <laughs> yeah, um, it's just like as, as, simple as for forgetting a name I just like someone like either someone I just met or like someone's like uh when was your you know going to the doctor when was this this uh, appointment or, or you know when was your um this surgery or whatever and I'm like I don't even what you know I like have like I had um an operation on my eye like years back or whatever and they're like oh when was that I'm like fuck if I know and also like and it, it wasn't even that long ago, you know? And then also they're like, and it's like, I don't even remember which eye, like I have to stop and be like, which <laughs> one? Like just simple, like you're, and people are just like, are you dumb? And you're like, I, maybe, but it's just like simple things like that. Um, what else? Um, routine, it makes it really hard to, like I have to, you know, I now it's like, I set myself alarms the instant I think of something to be like, you're gonna forget this instantly. So I'll. That's something I learned just, you know, I like forgetfulness and, and what else, like just really being resentful of having to do my hair, th things like that for looking presentable for work or like not actually doing the thing instead of idealizing the thing or whatever. Like, it's just, it's like a, it depends on what it is, but it's just like a, it's either 
skittish, the things that I need to remember, or I just like the real world things feel like really wonky to me when I have to actually do them instead of be like, what are they? Like, what could they be? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my God. You're so intuitive to the max. Like you are yeah. like, like, I, I think I see now why you're also ST last because um, I think your communication style is not ST clear. And if you're talking to someone that is not lead intuitive they're like what the hell she's saying you know it's it's so hard it's really hard but it's just like but i'm trying i'm trying so hard but it that's what the si feels like it feels like jello when i try to communicate with more like rational types or you know down to earth types <laughs> um earlier when you were describing si you did talk about doing your hair and being feeling resentful for that however that is sf and that's kind of like you doing sf blast because you're like doing something, but to yourself, to your hair, um, you know, it's also teaching the tribe, right? So, but it's like your SF blast is double feminine. So let's talk about that first. How do you experience double feminine SF blast? And then we'll branch it off that after. Well, well, since it, I guess it is really hard for me to be like, okay, well, this is what SF blast is. Um, would you say SF blast in the way you're describing it is like teaching the tribe because I, I'm thinking of like the most SF blast thing I ever did was teach dance and it was it was it was exotic dance so like that for me was the most challenging but also like where I felt so much growth so it's like um I guess it's like it's like taking each individual into account when I SF blast and I'm like really careful to pay attention to each person I'm talking about or to talking to rather. Um, and like, I, so I guess in, in the way of teaching the tribe, it would be like, I'm very careful to look specifically at which tribe member I'm talking to and, and cater to, to that. Does that make sense? Or is that like the example in life that you're talking about? Um, well, I think, SF blast is like, there, there's, it depends if it's masculine or feminine. So I've seen yeah. people with masculine SF blast, um, they'll try to enforce what social etiquette is to you. Like this is a proper social etiquette. This is what you need to do to, you know, come across as proper. Um, another, but but it, that's just masculine SF blast, right? So it, it could also be like someone came over to your place and you're trying to make them feel comfortable. So you're like, hey, would you like to have some tea? You know, here you go, have some tea, you know, have some coffee. <laughs> So you're trying to make them feel good, you know, it's like, but you're trying to like, yours is feminine, right? So it's more like, it's more yeah. gentle, it's very gentle when you do it. He's like, hey, he's like, hey, here, have a cup of tea, you know, it's like, it's like, it's very nice, right, friendly, you know, yeah. or like, you know, or like, here, have a seat in this chair, you know, it's a comfortable chair, you know, so you control, you're telling people what to do, but in like, in a very nice way, but, and you're trying to make them feel good, you know, so it's right. yeah. So when I was like, when I was a dance teacher, it really is, it's just like taking into account the individual and I never like the word. So if I was like, I could never be double masculine or I mean, it makes sense that I'm not double masculine SF um, blast because I like nothing is ever in stone. So there's no, like when I heard the word, someone was explaining FE like appropriateness. And I like, I want to like knock that word down a set of stairs. It makes me so like triggered because it's just like, who are you to say what is appropriate? Who decided what's appropriate? So it's more like, um, and, and then especially like at the expense of the truth, like no way, like, uh, no, I get like super triggered, but like, it's more like the person in front of me, whatever their world is, I will try to accommodate as much as possible. So it's like, I kind of like, go around what they experience and make it comfortable. For example, like when I'm an, a talent assistant on sets, like we're, de and this is where like the TI and E comes in, like who am I working with today? So like, there's a show that I work on where we're dealing with different um, actors every week or whatever. And it's like, who exactly am I dealing like working with this week? What are they like? Are they vegan? So we're going to put like these snacks that, and we're not going to do these. Um, like, so I just like, you know, like just think about everything for that individual, for that tribe member. And we accommodate, like, it's never to be like, this is appropriate, but it's just like, I want to make them for who they are feel seen or whatever type of thing. Yeah. I think that's a good word that you use to accommodate someone because it's, it's double feminine, right? So it's like, Hey, whatever they need, 
that's fine. Yeah. Let's just give it to them. And it's super easy for me to adapt, I think. You know, like I grew up in a religious background, which is not a part of my life right now, but I also don't like I'm not like, uh, like so if like, you know, I'm at my mom's house who's still um religious and like her like church friends come over or something, like I can hang with them. Like I understand, like it's like this is their world. So I'm not gonna be like, oh, you know what? I used I used to teach strip tease. Like I'm not gonna like there's no need to bring out that part of my so it's like adapting to whoever I'm with and I can like roll with you know the craziest like whoever to like the church ladies like um and then it's about accommodating their world kind of thing yeah that makes a lot of sense um it's super easy I don't mind it it's great like it's no problem for me because I really respect each individual and their right to be whoever they want to be in the world uh, you have extrovert feeling that's feminine. So let's let's build on to what you just said about accommodating your mother's church friends and whatnot. Right, right. Um, so with extrovert feeling, you can see the tribe values, and then you kind of try to follow it or at least respect it. Uh, how do you how do you experience that? You know, I mean, you kind of explained it already with the the church situation, but uh, the church friend situation. But do you do that with you know? all tribes that you are a part of because you're part of a lot of tribes right so i do think i do that everywhere i go to some to and then and then that's where tidal waves come in like because it can be at the expense of myself but like that's another story but that's where that's gonna or like where i'm like am i fake like who am i because i like to i like to naturally kind of be like let me accommodate you like what's your world about um but um yeah it's in on set like I, I think i can be a really i get hired as assistant because it i just morph into whatever they need <laughs> it's almost odd but it just it's like a, another tool like um yeah it's just remembering or or finding out what this person cares about and letting it them have that it's like, it makes me feel good to do that. So I, it's pretty much what I just said, but um, yeah, it happens. And I also, I, I like to make, so we'll say like in the Facebook community for OPS, I prefer to find a topic that everyone can relate to in their lives and like post it. And it's kind of more like play energy, I suppose, of just yeah. like, like I, I like to think about the things that everyone can relate to and then do do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hard to ask you, like, be clear. <laughs> I, I, I I get it. I we, we won't have any, so I can I speak the same yeah, language. Yeah. I speak the same language as you. Like, let me try to translate this for the tribe because you have the TE too, right? Like Yeah, well, I mean, because earlier I was translating, I I, I I always think of myself as an any translator because I yeah. like my my special power is that I have um I'm NF. I have NF and ST in the middle, so yeah. I can I can I can go back and forth. So right. uh, that's kind of that's yeah that's like my superpower is I can translate for you guys like speaking your your hippie language. Yeah, it's no, it's just like talking to you for a little bit. Like it's just like that. I just that that car reference just really. I'm like man, I just I'm gonna take that and put that in my pocket because that was great. You just translated the any of like what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because like a lot of people, you're, a lot of. Like, I, I feel like a lot of NE people get sh shat on. Like, they're like, they come across as like crazy or yeah, they're like, I don't know, like not practical. They know what they're talking about. They just can't tell you. So that's it's hard. Yeah, it's like a different language. But yeah, so it's great to have you as the translator. You're like, yeah. all right, just let me help you. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me translate, you know, like, <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> funny. I can love that. Let's talk about you being visual. Um, I mean, for me, it's super obvious that you're definitely a visual. Um, where is where is visual? Because I I need like yeah. When it comes to the SI, like the sensory, I'm like remind me again of what it is. Well, your, your sexual modalities test are visual, right? So right, test are visual. Great. So, great, so great. Um, do you learn really well? You know, besides the experimentation, which you already explained earlier with the tester stuff. Um, al although sometimes I feel like tester might be smell. Sometimes I feel like tester might be smell. It could be that I do like I'm thinking about even just like my first a lot one not first but you know jobs in in college like I was like I worked at Bath and Body Works which is like oh I can smell candles pretty things all the time like this seems like a great job so 
yeah like sure t I'll, I'll smell candles and stuff like sure I'll test yeah, yeah I'm, I'm seeing a, a pattern now where pe the tester people they have a strong sense of smell like it's they, they're, yeah, totally. that's, that like, makes sense. I never thought of it but it kind of lines up yeah like a lot of them are foodies they like try different oh. food um and, and taste is really smell because you cover your nose you can't taste anything right and then um you know but it's like like I had a friend I think she's double feminine also and she's like oh I don't want I, I she told me she went out with a guy she didn't like the way she smelled he smelled so he's like yeah you know it's just not going good not going anywhere and I'm like oh what? you know <laughs> like like, like that <laughs> um yeah I don't know I can't at this second like think of a like super example <laughs> just spit uh think of an example like that but like I just do think of like I I am all, like I'll be like I have to smell like uh, the candle thing like it was a yeah. big part of my job growing like it's just like I need to smell this it smells pretty like I like think yeah. it's pretty yeah it seems like an anecdote but yeah for sure it's a, it's definitely an anecdote so I I'll I'll keep it as like a, a supporting, no, was, supporting document not yeah not, the know. more I think, like I um I work on a, a sh like a mobile shower bus for you know homeless people in New York so it's like it's so that they can smell good to feel like a real per it's like stuff like that it, it is yeah the more I'm thinking about it it's like yeah that is kind of a driver for me yeah well we'll keep it as a supporting document for now until there's more but yeah it's an anecdote know. but it's it's really it's kind of lining up it, it is it, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna stick but right now well, I won't, I won't, I won't commit to it yet, but, uh, like <laughs> yeah, no, cause I, I don't have masculine any, right. So it's like, I've, I'll, I'll see the pattern, but I won't commit to it yet. I'll just, I'll yeah, keep no, it. the mercy of my masculine any. It's like, yes, that's right. We're going to go on this world now. Yeah, let's go jump into this pattern. It's, it's, yeah, it's good, all you right. know? On any back up. Yeah. yeah. But for me, I'm like, no, I need, let me get a few more SIs before I can like, if, okay. I, if I get like 10 or more SIs, I'm like, okay, that's a, that's definitely okay. that pattern works. Yeah. Um, Okay, so back to being visual. Um, do you have a very good like visual memory? Like, do you remember? I, yeah. Yes. yes, totally. I was gonna say before when you were like, "All right, you need to meditate, chick." Like, chill. I visualizations for me like change my world. So like, instead of meditating, I would do visualizations, and that works like like a dream for me. So visualizing as far instead of meditating, um, yeah, I will create stories or whatever when I'm writing and I'd like see everything. Absolutely. Um, you are an INTP. So by default, your biggest fear is the tribe. You're scared of people. Like, how do you, how do you, can you talk no. about that? <laughs> like that's, that's, it's, it's, it's kind of weird because you don't come across as, because you're double activated FE, you play a lot with people. So like, I think where's the, a fear of people coming is where's a fear of people coming from the fear of it I think that I, where I have such a strong aversion I think I'm using the right word to the word appropriate is because that's what I'm always checking for am I being appropriate am I being appropriate am I being appropriate and I hate it because it really has a hold on me of yeah. like that's more what it is like am I being, that's, that's, it's, so I guess it's like a fear of like, am I being like too much? Am I being ridiculous? So I'm always checking to make sure I'm being appropriate and it has this hold on me and it's so annoying. <laughs> so it's more that than, it's like, it's like this assumption that they're just not going to like me first off, like, no, like they don't even know me, but like, no, they're not going to like me. They're going to think I'm like inappropriate, wild, chaotic. So that's the first instinct of the tribe. And also a mistrust. Like how would they know better than me type of thing? Maybe that's my mistrust of TE. <laughs> TE, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, just, I'm connecting it in the way of like, they think that they could tell me how to do things in life. Like how would they know? Yeah, so it's just a lot of mistrust and thinking the tribe is gonna think I'm inappropriate. That's a big driver. Yeah, that's such a silver uh, silver lining. It's such a it, for me that's so hard to catch. You know, I I'm really impressed how they type you, because uh, I I do think you got type right, but it's so it's such like there's so much like like you you can almost come across as an ENTP for example, like a double like a double activated uh, like a jumper, um, you know ENTP. You know, like you could easily you could have easily came out as that right because uh, you have so many like don't control, don't tell me what to do kind of syndrome, you know, like, um, oh, yeah. so 
I'm 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 curious how that like that small like it's like I feel like to to get you to that INTP it was like it was down to two pieces and it was like the most ner- like hardest thing to like yeah to I think my, I think my decider side is really apparent um it's probably like after you get to know me for a while because like if I'm on first like FEing with you it's just like oh this is good for everybody like I try to be it's not that I try to be but it's just like comes naturally to play and find all the things that we can talk about and what brings us together. But like the decider thing is very apparent for me, just my problems of like, but they did this. And it's like, yeah, that's that. I think it's after a while you'll see, like people will see it. I I think the most tricky part about you is that it's the SF. It's like you are, it's almost as, as if like you are double activated on the SF. I think that's that, I think that's like the most tricky part about it. I know it's a tool. What do you mean by that? Because a lot of people are just like, oh, you're SF. And I'm just like, are you guys joking? Because I'm like really at the heart, like just the little girl who used to get taken out of class and read and read and nerd and like just hiding. Like that's me. But because a job required, my goal required me to SF, it's like that's how how do people how are people so confused by that? It's not really like, how, how, how many how many years have you been doing this career path that you've been um, I mean I'm pushing 40, so it's like and I right out of college, like I went to I mean as Wait, a you're kid, almost you're almost 40? Yeah, I'm pushing, I'm pushing the big four out. Like oh my I'm, god, I'm, you know you, you look like you're in your twenties. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um it's just all that that charming any, the effervescence. Um no, but it's um yeah i mean pursuing it you know 20 years like actually and okay that, that makes more sense now <laughs> but even when i was a kid like um you know in eighth in eighth grade i decided i was going to this public college for acting because it was affordable like i figured out how i was going to do it and that was when i was 13 14 so um yeah it's it's a practice it's very practice so it's very funny when people are like i'm confused <laughs> like i'm like how do you not it's that it's not me it's just how you have to be on camera or whatever i've just uh, become this way or whatever it is but well what do you mean because people are always like shook by the sf and i'm like what is it what are you talking about no, no it, it makes so much sense now because a you've been in this field for 20 years yeah um uh, b you are almost 40 you're 39 right I guess so you're almost 40 I'm not 39 I just say that because I just don't want to say my actual age but I am um, I'm 38 okay I'm 38 okay okay you know, I always dog dance around because I don't particularly care I actually like it's one of the parts that I'm like yeah I'm this old like so because I like being able to have people be like what my world is rocked it's like what is what does that mean it's just that's who I am um well you don't respect yeah. the st right so <laughs> Right, exactly. Like I, so I don't like it because people decide that it means if you're this age that something, and I don't like that. But I, I see. I, I see now. I see where this is coming from now. So, yeah, it's not so, so much, and it's not even like the boring castability story because that's being blown out of the water at this. Like as far as like, yeah, if you're this age and you're an actor, you become not valuable. You're put out to pasture. But it's not even that because that's not real anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Yeah, that's true. It's just I don't like when people are like, I know better than you. Like you're this age, so you're this. And it's like, no, you well, have well, no idea. Well, well, it's it's kind of like that's um thing that I explained earlier where when I was really fit but was doing the exercise wrong, right. I was taken more seriously than I have the knowledge now, but I am not as fit as I used to be. Yeah. Um so I feel like you don't want people to take you seriously because you're older than them. You want people to take you seriously because of your talent, skills, knowledge, and, and whatnot. Right. It's just like, you're gonna, you're gonna jump like, or I could just expect that the tribe that I mistrust is going to create some opinion or some conclusion, which, yeah, very similar to your, um, yeah, like strong man example there. You're just like, I don't want you to like this. You're kind of misunderstanding me. Yeah, because like I, I was I remember I made a friend when I was backpacking. So I took a year off to go backpacking around the world. And when I was in Indonesia, I befriended this girl who at first she said that she was later on she found out I was like a lot older and she was like she's like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I was so like I was talking so much shit and like 
like behaving like such a like a you know like a, a like a brat you know like i didn't realize you were i thought you were my age either and i was thinking to myself I'm like no no it's fine just be yourself you know like it's just like exactly exactly like people just all of a sudden they're like oh I, i'm so sorry madam i'm so sorry yeah, you're yeah. Like, what are you talking about i this is who i am like this is how this age is <laughs> like exactly who you experienced two minutes ago no because like you might still act like pretty like a young person because you're you're chill or whatever maybe you you like you love your job because you know maybe part of being old is um or older is like you come across as like yeah no you can't have fun anymore you can't like joke around anymore i'm like no that's stupid like if you if you love your life then who cares right like it doesn't matter so exactly. yeah so it's usually for that reason like people just assume something about you and you're like yeah you're wrong <laughs> so yeah yeah okay that, that's interesting um also your SF is third, so it's not like fourth, you know, so you have access to it and eventually people with your third animal, you get pretty good at it, right? So, but I, I, I still think that the most jarring thing is like, because I did interview another person that is the exact same type as you and you just come across, there, there, there's like, a, the, the SF part is like the feels, like there, there, there's something about you that that feels like just so much more SF. And I feel like it's because of your career. Like it's the environment that shaped you to, to be that way. Cause like you have to talk to people um, a certain way in your field. And I, th I think like you kind of took that in as yeah, like- I think that, yeah, you, that's the most accurate. And I, I, it's almost like, I'm like wary. I'm like, oh, somebody can finally see that because it's like, I wheel, it's not wheeled it, but like every job now it's just like oh here's this side that i have to be and it's just like a flipping of a switch of like oh here i am as like this thing i put on like that i learned and it's yeah it is like that it's a it's a skill or whatever but it becomes you like a singer all of a sudden yeah like they didn't they didn't come out of the womb like this but they just learned how to sing or whatever this is a dumb example but <laughs> it's who yeah. you become I mean, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of rappers that are like anti first, like Kanye West anti first, right? But then, you know, no one would think he's anti first. You know? Yeah, right. Like, like the master of all those, all the swag there, like with the, his Yeezys and all his other business and. Yeah. Yeah. He has he has demon SF. If anything, he's you know his SF third, right? So, there's a lot of people that's hacking the SF game, um, by just yeah. being by just being in that field. You know, they it's 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 like a it's a job. It's a craft. Yeah. You need to learn how to play the game and part of the game is the sf and you need to master the sf to play the game right and if you don't play it right then you're probably not in your career right now you would be doing something else you know so if yeah. maybe you would have failed right so right um i'm curious who who you talked to like the other type twin oh julie julie she's the uh, same type as you oh, yeah, yeah julie I, i've never met julie but she, I, her, I, I watched the, the interview on your channel just to, yeah, to be like, are we alike? And the bubbliness, like the, like reminds me of me, like the effervescent, she was like effervescent in a way. And I'm like, that's she true. Was, yeah, you, you guys both have the bubbliness, but she's more nerdy than you are. And, and her, her nerdiness came out a lot, but for you, it's the F-E, the S-F yeah. that's like coming out a lot. That's why it's like super confusing, right? Like, that's why even, I, I feel like if I had to type you and I didn't know you now, I would, I would be stumped. You know, I, I would, I would definitely be stumped. You know, you, you're playing this game so well that, and that's what you want, I guess. If you can, if no one can read you, then that's good. That's good. That's a good thing. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to have people like it's just it's not it's not that it's like, you are this like special case or something, but it's just like I think when you're involved, yeah, like when you're involved in a world, like maybe Julie, like I don't even. I guess to me, it wouldn't come off as, you know, on first impression when I, I remember Julie's interview, obviously, because she's my type twin. And it's like, oh, like, was she more nerdy because she like wore glasses? Like, I don't know, like, her, just like uh, nurture has like, you know, nature versus, or nature versus nurture, or whatever has a lot to do with. So it's like maybe her environment, just, she was just focusing on other things, you know, but like the like goofiness, like her giggle or whatever, what, like, I don't know, it sounds cheesy, but like how she was laughing reminds me of me just of like the play energy. Right. I, I think it's a hundred percent nurture then. Cause like you are, yeah, in, yeah. You, you are in the entertainment industry and that, that is like the way you talk is entertainment industry talk, which is SF talk. And yeah, and badly, but also like, eh, 
you got to do it. So I did it. <laughs> well, no, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, 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 it's a good language. It's SF. That's like the coolest way to talk, right? So you, yeah. you, so it's not, it's, it's like, if you have to learn to communicate a certain way, then the way you're communicating the Hollywood way is like, th that is the right way, you know? Yeah. But uh, for me, like, as like, for me, I'm just like, uh, it's like, like you were talking about before, it's like fake, but all right, I got to just do it. I got to just do it. Like, did, were you into the, the movie, the craft as a kid? Like, you know, I'm, I forget that I'm older than people sometimes. So like, there's this movie, the craft Remember, are you like, whatever, it's kind of like a witchy movie and like Feruza Balk is like the, the mean evil witch, Nancy. Um, um, I don't remember, I, I, think I saw it when I was, I'm, I'm almost the same age as you. I'm only one year younger yeah. than you. But like, yeah. uh, but I, I, I saw it when I was a kid. So I don't remember what happened. Like super spooky, but like this one line, they're like, the only way you can beat this like scary witch is by invoking the spirit. And it's like, it's like, it reminds me of that. It's like that because you're like, oh, I don't want to like invoke the spirit. You don't want to become this like really darkly powerful thing because you, you're you like, I, that's not me, but like, that's the only way. So I always like, sometimes I think about that because I'm like, oh, I have to invoke this. You know, it's not that dark, but the movie reminds me of it because you're like, oh, I guess I got to like do this thing. I become this thing that I don't necessarily want to be because I see the dark side of it. Right. But it's like, there's no other way. You must invoke the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was being a creep. That's full on any, like, reminds me That's of. Like but... NF, the NF play right there. <laughs> like... Right, right. But it reminds me of that. So, <laughs> like, I had to um, do it. All right. So, we're going to wrap up the interview soon. Um, I have, like, uh, two last questions for you, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, cool. First one is, how do you plan on working on that ST sleep, knowing what you now know? about like, you know, bringing that thing into like the shop and what yeah. do you plan on uh, working on? Um, I really appreciate you mentioning the, the any analogy with the car shop because that helps me look at it in a different way. So I will first write that on a post-it and put it where I can see it. Um, <laughs> this is like a, like a therapy session when they're like, okay, so how are you gonna work on what we've talked about? Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, I, I can't like, I don't like making like fickle promises, but I, I think I am starting to realize the need to, I don't know, journal. I don't know. What, what should I do, Kendrick? It's hard. It's really hard. I just, I'll, I'll I, I, <laughs> I want to dodge it because I, I don't like making promises that I cannot keep, that I don't know if I can keep. So I don't know. Like, it's really, it's really hard. It's, it's just like, you don't understand. I can't because I'm busy. Like, that's what I want to say to you. But um, I don't know. I, I just feel like you just need to schedule it. Like, to, like, like, what, like you, you need to schedule two things. So once is for your body, once for your mind, right? So for your mind, you need to go to like, um, like a meditation center and just schedule, schedule it once a week to go to a meditation center. Um, yeah. not, not yoga, meditation, because you have to be still. Still. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you can't be moving and stuff, um, and because uh, that's play. If you're moving a lot, that's play. Hey, right? hey. So it has to be med meditation is the way to go. Uh, I don't think you should be journaling. Is good. Is is also good. So I, I think I think you, you, should, you, should, then... you, you should schedule it in. So you go to a meditation center, but if your schedule is busy and you can't go for some reason, then your plan B is to, to journal. And when I say journal, I, I don't think you should go too hard at it. I think like five minutes, like seriously. Just yeah. five minutes. I was just going to say to you, I was like, you know, I, I can, a challenge would be literally five to seven minutes of meditation because it really, I feel like I could do that. Yeah. And then for the sure. body, like you need to bring your body to the shop. So you need to go see like a, like a massage therapist, RMT. Um, do you, do you work out right now? Do you like go to the gym and stuff? Uh, I do the, I do Chloe Ting challenges. Does that count? Oh yeah. That's, she's, it, it's Chloe yeah. Ting. Is she from uh, Agents with Shield? Is that the chick? No, no, no. She, Chloe Ting. She's uh, she's like a YouTube famous workout. Oh, no, um, I, don't, I don't know her. Yeah. So I do. She has like workout challenges. They're all free on YouTube. I feel like I'm plugging her channel, but it's awesome. Um, so I feel like it's like 30 minutes a day of exercise in general. And she does like three week challenges, get fit challenge or whatever. So okay. okay. So I, th I think the, the expending energy part is okay. The, the persevering part yeah. energy is the, the bad part, the hard part. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe you do need to see like a, a massage therapist or a physiotherapist 
amazing. Yeah. All right. Um, and then do you have any last question before we wrap this up, Melanie? Is do you have any last minute question for me before we wrap this up? Um, I guess like I guess it's like I would love to be like, how how is NT N E T E different than N E T I? Um, like how do you could you give an example of that? But that's that's your type, right? N E T E saviors? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But um, like a whole other story, I guess. Well, I think to put it in a concise terms, I'm solving the people problem. I'm solving because it's people, so it's NT, right? And it's with a tribe. So um, you know, like I would be good at figuring someone out because I'm trying to understand you, trying to figure you out. Uh, right. And it, I have all the tools too. It's almost like cheating because I have NT play, so I can figure you out. I can I can puzzle you, or I can puzzle with you. Um, and I have any FI, so I can gather your FI. I can gather your character, and like look at your parts and to see right. if there's like um, what is authentic, you know. So I I can I can um, I can do that. So so it's it's that's that's like the power of the NT. Or, or my, my type, the ENFPs in general. Um, and it's also good for like, like I, I took a test called Builder Profile 10. I don't know if you've ever taken your Strength Finder 2.0. I have, I love that. I love Strength Finder. Yeah, so they, they also made one called Builder Profile 10, but this is it's like a, it's like a career version of the Strength Finder. And yeah. um, you know, when I took the test, my number one power was delegation. So I like clearly, okay. I. I I know who's the best person for the job is because like based on that like NT play, you know, like I know cool. you know, I, I can figure out the organizational structure and be like, okay, this person would succeed in this part. And the structure would be like a well-oiled machine if this person were to be the one in charge of this role. Like I can find someone that's like a, a complete idiot and find them the right role for dig up, yeah, their strengths. Job. Cool. Yeah, yeah, where they could be, even though they're an idiot, they can um be beneficial yeah, yeah. They, they, they'll be they, even if, if even if they're an idiot those they are going to be a useful idiot instead of a useless <laughs> idiot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's it. the best way to put it uh, I love that. <laughs> all right um, we, um yeah. i gotta wrap this up because i have another um appointment coming up in 10 minutes love it <laughs> yeah but uh thanks for coming out and i look forward to um having you join us i think it's in two months for the the, the group interview so yeah so yeah awesome all right, take care. Um, See you thanks, guys. Later.